Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolo Tech, and I wanted to show you how to restore from iOS 10 back to iOS 9 or 9.3.3 .3 in this case without losing and having to fully restore everything. Do this at your own risk. You will most likely lose your text messages and photos even if you have them backed up in iCloud. Be sure to back up everything using iCloud or iTunes before attempting these steps. You can restore from a backup later if you want to. So normally what you would have to do is connect to iTunes, fully wipe your device, and then restore from a backup. I'm going to show you how you can just do it on the device. So if we go into settings, let me show you that this is iOS 10. There you can see it's iOS 10. It's build 14A5309D, and that is beta 3 iOS. As you can see, it's got all the new features, everything with iOS 10. So let me show you how we're going to restore that. The first thing you'll need to do is download an IPSW file. That is the file that will restore your phone. You need to have the specific one for your device. In my case, it's an iPhone 6S Plus, and you can see it's 9.3.3. I'll leave a link to the website I got that at, but you just simply download the one you need. Then you're going to plug your phone into your computer. Once you've got iTunes open and your iPhone is connected, what you'll need to do is click on the phone. So click on the phone and you'll see all of your device information here. Now what we're going to do is check for an update, but since we're on iOS 10, it's not going to find the older version. So that's why we had to download the IPSW file. So now what we need to do is click on check for update, but in order to get what we need, we need to actually hold down the Alt or the Option key, depending if you're on a Mac or Windows. So we'll hold down Option, click Check for Update, and now we have the option to actually select a file. I'll select my IPSW file. You'll see this one is 2.44 gigabytes. We'll hit Open. It says iTunes will update your phone to iOS 9.3.3, and we'll verify the update with Apple. Click Update and we're going to let it run. It's about halfway through the installation. It's been taking a little bit of time, but just be patient and hang in there, and we'll take a look at this once it's done. The update took about 10 minutes, and you'll see it says slide to upgrade, and now it's going to continue to update. So about in 10 minutes time, it's actually installed the update, and now it's updating. So hopefully everything comes through okay, but we'll check that out again once it's done. We're back on iOS 9.3.3. You can see it looks different now. And also on the computer, you can see that it's on iOS 9.3.3. So we're back and everything is restored. It's lost the Touch ID capability right now. I'll have to put my fingerprints back in, but let me unlock it. And on here, if I go to settings, And under about, you'll see it's 9.3.3. My phone is actually pretty hot on the back too. It must not have liked that too much. But you'll see it looks like 9.3.3 now. Took about 15 minutes total. And on the computer, we're also at iOS 9.3.3. Now I would definitely recommend restoring from a main backup you had before and just wiping this clean. But this is one way you can kind of do that sort of restore back to iOS 9.3.3 as long as Apple is still signing it. If they're not signing it, you won't be able to back up to this. And that's mostly for when iOS 10 is fully released. During the beta, you can actually go back and forth all you want. But right now, I wanted a little bit more stability. I've actually lost most of my text messages. All of them are gone, actually, so I may have to go back and restore and, and do that over. But I just wanted to show you that you actually can do it, not without risk, but it is doable. So if you've done this or you have any other suggestions or tips, let me know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.